Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can create improved version for the multi-level approvals in Power Apps. So basically, there are approval kind of thing in Power Automate as well. So there we have the actions and everything. But what if you need to handle everything in Power Apps? So include a minimal Power Automate things. So we can use Power Automate for notifications and all. But how it is, it can be developed in power apps only so the last week i was working on this and did some testing and here the few things i would like to show you here the first is how we can have the dynamic approvals then power apps for the approval handling as i mentioned you like instead of power automate we are going to use power apps only then how we can approve and reject with the signature so this is just one step that i have added because if there are some cases where you would like to take the signature of the approver right so you can use the power apps for that so for this i am using the pen input control so there is nothing like i am having image control and that so simple pen input control then also i would like to show you like uh, if there are some role based control related things so how you i personally do such kind of testing so instead of opening that application for the multiple users then how we can have that functionality or in terms of testing in a single app only but yes if you do have any questions or suggestions you can always let me know in comments like how i can improve these things then at the last stage there is a uh, optional thing like how we can print the approval summary so everything this is completely on power apps so there is no power automate uh, i have used so let's go back to the application so here as you can see this is the approval process flow and uh, this is just a simple table that has some data backend i use the sharepoint here then every item will have the status and this kind of things like title expense date amount and the view button on the right hand side you can see the approval status so if there are some cases or some process types you have in the organization where you have the multi-level approval kind of thing and if you'd like to have the user to see like in which stage they are what is the current status and what are the comments for the approval in case of approval and rejection so this kind of thing i can i have built the ui like this so if I go to the next one and it will automatically fetch the data from the SharePoint list and you can see the stages here. So as you did, these are the color coded. So orange that means the that's in progress. The gray represent that currently has not started. Red means rejected and green means approved. Then the third item here you see there are three stages here. Then the fourth got rejected. So that's why it's appearing in red. Also, who are the approver manager for that respective stage? I have also showcased here. So these are just the uh, dummy users that I've created on my tenant. And also, as you can see, I'm adding comments as well. So in case of approval or rejection, comment is required and the signature is also required. Now, these are the high level things we can show. If I click on view details, then it will open up the detail format approval summary uh, what is the id so this is the unique number so this is just a sharepoint item id title of it and when this submission has been made so it's made on 26th of july 10 am so based on these things i have used the horizontal gallery to display this thing i'm going to show you the sharepoint list structure as well so let's just familiar with this user interface so here we have the signature from the approver then the status of it and some metadata the approved by action taken on and the comments you can see the multiple things and here if there is any state where the approval is rejected it is appearing like this and the stages that after this stage i am graying them out so just a ui kind of thing so because uh, we want to let the user know like these stages are skipped because the previous stage was rejected so it looks like such a way like if i show you here yeah here we have the two stages after this one so both will have the rejected one so you can have that logic also 
if you'd like to print the approval summary so let me just check if yes these are all approved and if you'd like have to have an approval summary right so you can just click on view details and we can use the power as print function so i have used in in the model box as you can see and if i click on print it will open up the print window for me and it will print the selected screen that's why i blurred out the background things and only that approval model will appear here so once i click on it you see the print window is appearing here so that kind of thing you can print and here we have the status signature and everything so you can just print there are also settings so these are the settings you can play with and after this it will save it as a pdf that will be used for the reference now let's come to the sharepoint configuration so here i have the configuration list so as i mentioned you there are multiple approval configuration you can set so if you would like to have the new item created so you can just click on new and there we have the type selection so whether it's approval for the any selected process right so there is a budget adjustment there is expense reimbursement right so when i select expense reimbursement it will fetch the data from the sharepoint list so in that list i have added these process types right so if any of the item is selected you can see the approval stages so that user will know like once i submit this form what are the stages it will go for the approval and the second one as well there is a new hire request so for this there will be a different stages associated right so the form is same currently i have added just for a demonstration purpose like what are the possibilities to implement this kind of thing now if i go to sharepoint this is also logs list where i am maintaining all the logs so for each approval stages there will be separate entry so these entry that i am using here to showcase based on the color coded format that i have shown you earlier so based on the stages i am showing all the items here and they will be visible now the important thing is like how i can test this kind of thing so for this let's create a new item here so i'll go here i'll click on expense reimbursement i'll add some title then expense type let's say office supplies the amount i will add here then the date of the expense i will select let's say 27 and you can add the attachment as well and after this you can submit this so once the record is being submitted the only one power automate thing i am using just to update the status but yes this is completely configurable from the power apps as well so power automate i use for the notification only like to let the user and the first approval know like the item is send for an approval right so let me just show you that email as well so as you can see here this one this email will be received for the approval managers so who are the approvers they will see this email the new item has been submitted and requires your approval so whatever the bold things are here these are dynamic then there is also an email for the user to let them know whether this app really started or not so this is the email that will received by the user that app rule has been started so this kind of thing you can implement in power automate now let's go back to the application and let's see there is a department head now what i can do i can just set my role so what i did as you can see see role based access is rely on only uh, one single thing that is a user right so instead of having the user dynamically added because you see when they logged in they will have their name here so what i did i use one text control here so in this text control there will be user email i will be provide and i will click on the set role so complete application will be set to the user role so now how this is managing because see 
this is me department head so there will be one button that will appear to me only so let me just wait and whether the status is changed or not yes as you can see the power automate i got an email just got a notification and the status is in, in progress so as you can see these are the manager user finance user so the buttons are not visible to them until and unless this approval status is completed or the logged in user email id is equal to their email id right so this kind of logic you can implement the code level thing i am not going to explain in detail because it will take a lot of time for me and you also to understand but if you have any question you can just let me know in comments and i'll be happy to answer that so here i have two options approve and reject so what i can do i can just click on approve here these two things are required please add comments and the signature so i can just say approve and once it is approved it will process the things behind the scene so there are lots of thing happening once you click on the approve and reject button so if the first thing it will be it will update the current item status so as you can see this is department head currently got approved after this it is going to update the next stage because these are the numbers as you can see these numbers are in a order that i have put in sharepoint list so after this stage which stage is next so i got that id right of that item so i am updating that to in progress so i had completely limited power automate things here only power apps now the manager as you can see i don't see those button now what i can do i can just change my role to the manager right so i will just add their email id so role based access is completely based on user as i said you see now this application performs as a manager logged in here as you can see the welcome manager user now the accept and reject button is here right so i'll just approve from here as well so the text box will open now i can just add anything and add my comments here now what's going to happen this stage is going to be approved the next stage will be in in progress yeah so you can see the finance is currently on so now let's change our role to the finance user here i will use the finance email id set my role to finance now the application is working as a finance user now from this stage i will reject this and i will add some you can use the different color as well so there we have an option to play with colors so i'll just use the red one to show that rejected and then i will add my comments here now when i submit this then what's going to happen it will mark the status as rejected and mark the parent status as well as a rejected so let's wait for this to complete as you can see the finance approval is got rejected we have the comments here and the main item also the status is rejected now if i print this apple summary i'll just click on view details it will open up so remember i told you if one stage got rejected it will have all these stages after that will be grayed out and there is also a message just for the user to let them know that this stage is skipped due to rejection in the previous approval stage so once you click on this you can print this and use it for the another references now the approval summary we got in power automate as well but yes there are some cases where you don't need to use power automate so everything that can be handled in power apps as well
so power automate use you can use for the notifications like email notifications and everything because i tried to use the connectors in power apps but there i have to play with some html and css things to make it the proper well formatted email so you can use the power automate for these kind of things now these these are the things i would like uh, i wanted to show you for this like how you can utilize these approval things so if you have any questions about this you can let me know in comments thank you